Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my, what is it, April 2022, uh, 2023 <laughs> book haul. I have a bunch of books, uh, I went to the charity shops, so I've actually been reading some of them, so we'll start with the ones I've been reading just to get those out of the way. Dane reads. So I read uh, Roald Dahl's Opposites by Roald Dahl. Um, I also read You Made Me Late Again by Pam Ayres. So this is a fun little book to teach kids like the alphabet and opposites and all that shit. Uh, this is poetry with some like memoir elements to it. Um, and now I'm currently reading The Humans by Matt Haig, which is about like this alien is sent to Earth to try and sort of stop this uh, mathematician from unleashing this very important mathematical theory on people. So uh, that's been pretty good. I, it took a while because the style was kind of grating on me, but I am now enjoying it. And then I have this stack here. Um, I guess I'll start with these two. Uh, these both came in the post. So we have uh, Lyrical and Critical Essays by Albert Camus. Um, I just love Camus, so be good to get to this. I'm just slowly ticking off everything he did. That one might be a bedtime book because I think it's going to be quite intense. Um, and then Termush, Termush by Sven Holm. I keep going to call it Terminus. Um, this is like a sci-fi post-apocalyptic novel uh, in translation uh, by, from a celebrated Danish author and playwright. Oh, sadly passed away in 2019. Um, and what is it? Is it? It can't be translated by Jeff Vandermeer. I don't know. Maybe it is. No, translated by Sylvia Clayton. There's a foreword by Jeff Vandermeer, which is like three or four pages long. And for some reason, Vandermeer then gets a longer bio than the actual guy who wrote it. But anyway, this was sent to me, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Then we have the charity shop book. So this stack is from when I went to visit my mum and we went around the charity shops in Litchfield. So I picked up The Inheritors by William Golding, uh, who wrote Lord of the Flies. So I'm excited to read more Golding, always wanted to. Ghosts and Other Plays by Ibsen, uh, Henrik Ibsen. I've read some Ibsen, I've read A Doll's House and Other Plays, but I haven't read that collection, obviously. Um, we have Starcy Winter and The Starcy Game by David Young. Um, he, these books are sort of set in East Germany, um, in the 80s, I think, towards closer towards the fall of the Berlin Wall. Um, I've read the first three books in the series. Annoyingly, those are five and six, so I need to track down book number four. Uh, I got The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware, one of the few Ruth Wares I haven't read. We got Death Knocks Twice by Robert Thorogood. This is a uh, Death in Paradise novel. Been meaning to get to the Death in Paradise books. Again, it's not actually the first book in the series, so I need to track that down, really. Uh, we have Utopia Avenue by David Mitchell. Slowly but surely working my way through all of Mitchell's stuff. I also got Number Nine Dream, so it's good to see those. The Jonah by uh, James Herbert. Again, working my way through James Herbert and I've read most of them. I got another Matt Haig, so I got How to Stop Time. And then I got Prophecy by Peter James. A again, I'm just working my way through all of them. So that was a good little haul. And then I got these two as well. Uh, the Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. And If You Meet a Dinosaur by what, Paul Bright and Hannah George. These I'm going to give to Hugo, which is my friend Fran's son. Um, I'm called Uncle Dane, who, who buys him books. So I'm going to give him those and probably that Roald Dahl one as well. Alrighty, just got the one book to haul for you today. I ordered this online. This is Chickens in Your Backyard, A Beginner's Guide by Rick and Gail Lutman. Um, I'm thinking about getting some rescue chickens, so I thought the best thing to do, get a book, read it so I understand what it's all about, what I need to do, all of that stuff. Um, and then I can, you know, learn from there. So yes, I'm going to read this. I've always wanted rescue chickens. Hello, I have wet hair, so sorry about that. I went to Morrison's earlier, which is the supermarket near me, and they have a little book exchange, and I picked this up, which is Marianne by Daphne du Maurier. I know nothing about it other than that it has a terrible cover, um, but I'm trying to read some more du Maurier. Uh, based on the true life story of Daphne du Maurier's great-great-grandmother, Marianne. Nice. A lot of, like historical fiction stuff, which isn't really my jam, to be honest, but... Okie dokie guys, uh, just the one book to, uh, to haul for you today and that is The Bedding of Boys by Edward Lawn. So as you guys know, I'm slowly working my way through what I can track down of Edward Lawn's work. I don't think he's actively publishing it anymore, but sometimes you can still find used copies knocking around. Um, and my other half, Shay, is a big Edward Lawn fan, so I'm going to lend this to her first and then I shall read it after her. But yes, The Bedding of Boys. Alright, I'm going to use this in both my haul and my wrap up. Uh, just consider this as me adding one to the tally. I have a book uh, that is about a health condition. Uh, that I don't want to share. It is my secret book. Um, but yes, I'm reading another book slash have read another book, depending upon when you're when you're seeing this. 
All right, cheeky wrap-up time. I uh, got four books from charity shops that I want to show you. And uh, funnily enough, they were all in the children's section. I'm currently reading one of them, which is Hamish and the World Stoppers by Danny Wallace. I've always enjoyed uh, Danny Wallace's sort of middle grade stuff. That one is about these kind of creatures attack and um, time keeps stopping, except for a, a group of kids. So they're charged with saving the world in the UK's fourth most boring town. We also have Ham uh, Hamish and the Neville Pe Never People by Danny Wallace. I have read some of these Hamish books before and I'm reading them out of order, but they're, they're all enjoyable. Um, speaking of books I've read out of order as well, so we have two Crested of cows we have how to betray a dragon's hero and how to speak dragonese so i'm very excited about all of those hello everybody i won a job lot of um, arthur c clark books on ebay so now i have a whole ton of them to haul for you i'm going to show you these ones first um there's actually there's actually a frederick pole in here that the guy snuck in for some reason so we'll have a look at that first that is gem by Fe uh, frederick pole uh, these ones are all ones I'm not going to read because I've either already read them or I've already got them. So I have uh, Arthur C. Clarke, Reach for Tomorrow. I have The Fountains of Paradise. I have A Fall of Moon Dust. The Fountains of Paradise again. Expedition to Earth. Imperial Earth. 2061 Odyssey 3. And The City and the Stars. So those are all the ones that I've either already got or I've already read. And then these are all the ones that are going on my to read list. So I have a uh, foilers going off. All right, where was I? I have uh, Tales of Ten Worlds, 15 new stories. Very confusing why it's not 10 new stories. Uh, the Lost Worlds of 2001. The Deep Range. The Songs of Distant Earth. And then up here we have a Report on Planet 3 and Other Speculations. The Lion of Kamar and Against the Fall of Night. Tales from the White Heart, uh, Arthur C. Clarke and Gentry Lee, Cradle, uh, Arthur C. Clarke, Voices from the Sky, Prelude to Space, Three for Tomorrow, Islands in the Sky, 1984 Spring, A Choice of Futures, Dolphin Island, Glide Path, and Reach for Tomorrow. So a whole lot of Arthur C. Clarke for me to go and read. Alright folks, well those are all of the books that I got in April 2023. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.